हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉल बाय वैल्यू एंड कॉल बाय रेफरेंस फंक्शंस कैन बी इन्वोक इन टू वेज कॉल बाय वैल्यू और कॉल बाय रेफरेंस इन कॉल बाय वैल्यू मेथड ऑफ पैरामीटर पासिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्चुअल पैरामीटर्स आर कॉपेड टू द फंक्शन फॉर्मल पैरामीटर्स and the two types of parameters are stored in different memory location the parameter passed to the function are called actual parameter whereas the parameter received by the function are called formal parameters so any changes made inside function are not reflected in actual parameters of caller in call by reference of parameter passing the address of the actual parameter is passed to the function as a formal parameter both the actual and formal parameter refer to the same location so any changes made inside the function are actually reflected in actual parameters of caller in case of call by reference let's see the example of call by value and call by reference Let's try to understand the concept of call by value. First of all, declare a function. How to declare a function? Return type, name of the function. Swap is the name of the function. Int x, comma int y. Function having two parameters. Then after that, inside the main function, declare as well as initialize two variables, a and b. Value 10 is assigned to A and value 20 is assigned to B. After that, call the function. How to call the function? Name of the function and passing values. after that with the help of print a function display the message in the main function a is equal to percentage d and b is equal to percentage d first percentage d display the value of a and second percentage d display the value of b then after that define the function how to define the function function return type name of the function and function takes two arguments int x comma int y then int t t is a local variable first of all copy the value of x in t then copy the value of y in x and finally copy the value of t in y then after that with the help of print a function display the message inside function x is equal to percentage d comma y is equal to percentage d first percentage d display the value of x and second percentage d display the value of y now run this code after the execution of this code the output is inside function x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 10 and in the main function a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 so the actual value of a and b remain unchanged even after exchanging the value of x and y in the function in call by value method the value of the actual parameter is copied into the formal parameter when this function call value of a is copied into x and value of b is copied into y 
in call by value method we cannot modify the value of the actual parameter by the formal parameter in call by value method we cannot modify the value of a and b by x and y in call by value different memory is allocated for actual and formal parameter since the value of the actual parameter is copied into the formal parameter when this function call value of a and b is copied into x and y but different memory is allocated for both actual and formal parameters the actual parameter is the argument which is used in function call whereas the formal parameter is the argument which is used in function definition this is the example of call by value Let's see the example of call by reference. In call by reference, the address of variable is passed into the function call as a parameter. In call by reference, we have to pass the address. M percent is the address operator. The value of the actual parameter can be modified by changing the formal parameter since the address of the actual parameter is passed. In call by reference, the memory allocation is similar for both formal parameter and actual parameter. All the operation in the function are performed on the value stored at a address of the actual parameter and the modified value gets stored at the same address first of all declare a function how to declare a function return type function name then function having two parameters x and y and use star operator star is for declaring a pointer x and y is a pointer of integer type same for function definition x and y are the pointer of integer type t is equal to star x star x is equal to star y and star y is equal to t star operator give us value m percent operator give us address now run this code after the execution of this code the actual values of a and b get changed after exchanging values of x and y in call by reference both the actual and formal parameters refer to the same memory location any changes made inside the function are actually reflected in the actual parameters of the caller next is the difference between call by value and call by reference in call by value while calling a function we pass the values of variables but in call by reference while calling a function instead of passing the values of variable we pass the address of variable to the function how to pass address with the help of m percent operator in call by value the value of each variable in the calling function is copied into the corresponding dummy variable of the called function but in call by reference the address of the actual variables in the calling function is copied into the dummy variables of the called function in call by value the changes made to the dummy variable in the called function have no effect on the values of the actual variables in the calling function but in call by reference using addresses we would have access to the actual variable and hence we would be able to manipulate them in call by value we cannot alter the values of actual variable through function call 
In call by reference, we can alter the values of variable through function call. Pointer variables are not required for call by value. For call by reference, pointer variables are necessary to define to store the address values of variable. This is all about call by value and call by reference in C programming. Oh, 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 oh,